Hey guys, Jonathan here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's the 4th of February. Continuing my documentary series here on insurance fraud. As you see my deck, giving my cats a little treat of waffles I'm making. as just got in making my chores outside freezing. Where did my animals water isn't frozen and I just had a huge called clipper go by above me here in Iowa and uh, basically from where I at here 12 to 1300 miles is Canada line thanks Canada for sending the cold air it's been windier than heck it's gonna do a short video today and like I said warming up here making some waffles as I do often, being a single man. Quite a good cook, too. Anyway, wanted to continue this. As noted, I'm moving out of here. This is my mother's property. Uh, back to Southern California because of insurance fraud on claims. This was dating back to September 12, 2019. Uh, after state inspection, sorry about that. Uh, the claims were denied. Same with the state of uh, Missouri called Department of Insurance. This is every state if you're in USA, if you cannot get a claim uh, paid, you can file online a complaint. That's what I did. Months of investigation, they sided with mom, uh, mom's insurance here. So you my green thumbs I used to be an organic farmer but no longer I gave up that passion last week after it's a lost cause now as well just for the record I have not farmed for 16 months during all this a brush dog all my crops down 2019 same with the hay I didn't sell it that's why I'm organic guys so I can sleep at night and now I'm feeding people quality food as I've done for uh, now what what's 12 years anyway here with you it's another videos this is lightning strike the main center of the house that is tar from the roof old sealant I just done uh, due to weather here and all the events of you watch uh, this Midwest we get severe weather here all the time. I got hit by actually F2 tornado, uh, or mom and pop then. January 2008 went from basically 88 degrees down to uh, 10 degrees. And actually then I was a volunteer firefighter here. Had already signed up, but I was still a California resident for two years. And um, they hired me based on my experience, all this stuff about hazmat, all that. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Same thing, they brought me on here when I was out of state resident to be a volunteer firefighter because of my experience. It's not only an accident uh, investigation, but also as an instructor, I hauled it for years as a commercial truck driver. Same thing with. Uh, this county stayed on that issue. They have broken every federal, state, county, city law. Uh, the only thing I can do is civilly sue them. i will be millions of dollars as I've noted. So number one, other than putting this out here, I am seeking pro bono huge law firm either in the state of Missouri or know someone out of state here that can take on this case. This goes all the way to the governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general of this state as well as all third parties involved, insurance company, MoDOT, uh, the city of, well I won't say the city, but the county of Stone County, Missouri, emergency management, EPA, USDA, Chemtrek, Department of Natural Resources, the list goes on and on and on guys, highway patrol, state troopers, sheriff's department here, they've all neglected their sworn duty to protect. Same with public, this is a real law. It's called Criminal Intent to Public Safety. So I'm putting it out there now on my channel. I have nothing to lose. 
and I'm going to continue to do it until I get deep platform to give awareness and as a creator I'm going to share my story there's always two strides to every story yeah can't talk this is my side you be the judge on what I've shown you so far same with uh, the uh, state itself as this is nationwide I've seen it on the news so on I'm speaking for mine but this goes on nationwide guys we all raise food here which goes to your tables daily same with innocent school children here they're getting on and off the bus five days a week never shut down for COVID here which is ridiculous but anyway that's on parents they're playing in this water right here in front of my farm guys I have two residents they both have children they're doing it I'm on a bluff here so all the water runs downhill I'm at 1435 feet here and 360 degrees off of my farm all the rainwater all the snow remnants of ice storm like the other day it, it all runs into waterways uh, my town is the James River that eventually trickles down through many lakes, eventually hitting the Mississippi River right to the Gulf of Mexico out into the Atlantic Ocean. Going west, same thing, the Arkansas River. That does the same exact thing, guys. By now, what's happened here in 2019, just as an old storm chaser and on waterways and all the crazy weather we've had, especially 2020 with hurricanes and everything else around the globe, this has traveled around the world by now I can tell you that for fact either in clouds evaporation carrying on to the next country state whatever same out in the ocean with the currents the huge storms they've had in winter as they do this has gone around the world that's just me right here three separate ap accidents three separate hazmat spills or whatever it is unknown uh, material unknown quantity unknown distance traveled and unknown uh, materials so I should have done this later the main reason I wanted you to hear my weather radio it is uh, 225 so this is a no weather radio this will alert you uh, this is made by Midland but I literally have used this as storm chase, same on fire department, same as a resident farmer. I work around the weather. But I'll just play it and go ahead and listen if it's given the wind a location that's battery operated. I also have it plugged in AC DC here. So you can pre channel. Uh, I have it going out five counties. But you can channel it specifically to your county. It has an alert that goes on for five minutes be perfect if it went off now but that's on a megahertz it works every time same with they'll give a path uh, time it's gonna happen and this is for all season guys so let's see if they're talking about the wind and the sub-zero temperatures I have coming on here same way I showed you yesterday the fire hazard today uh, there's a wildfire here in my county it's going to take all that wood burn it all the embers are going to fly and ruin just farm to farm here this county will never catch up with 40 uh, volunteers and 12 pieces of equipment nearest uh, uh, hydrants as noted is 20 minutes each way they have four wells dug somewhere here in the county as told by a fire chief years ago I'll take that at face value is true but I've never seen it or heard of them but anyway let me play this Look for portions of the Missouri, Ozarks, and extreme southeast Kansas for today and tonight. Weather hazards expected. Elevated non-thunderstorm wind risk. Discussion. Wind gusts today will likely range from 25 to 45 miles per hour. The highest wind gusts are expected to occur along the Ozark Plateau, back west into the Osage Plains. A wind advisory has been posted from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. today. And now the extended outlook for the period Friday through Wednesday. A much colder air mass will arrive this weekend with the risk for wind chill values to drop near zero at times. Spotter information statement. All right, that goes off, guys. I'm going to end it here. I don't need to have another three hour download as I've been doing. But yeah, same in the house. 
It's been freezing, guys. My laundry room just walking in here. It's about a 30 degree change or 20 degree because of all the ceiling and the damage of the house moving. If you can see around the borders, all the daylight, you call it. Same with my ceiling. By literally coming apart. But yeah, just standing here, it's a chill. Well, I was told I had all new windows, doors installed. This door for over, what is it, a year and a half? And it took them six months after the initial uh, install. But because of COVID, I had to wait six months to get my back door and the front door put in. And the door frame. Anyway, I had a piece of wood, as I showed, right here. That is what kept my door shut for a year and a half, man. Same tonight. Same in the basement. Just to show you the water still leaking with the ice storm the other day. It's my dehumidifier. Thank God I have a drain right here for uh, my septic tank. Because if I didn't have a drain, this would be a swimming pool by now. Uh, all the water is leaked. You can see. The cement floor cracked now. Same as I showed before, you can see the tar from the lightning strike. This is my heater AC unit. It's all over the piping, and they've denied the claim. So I'll just to show, I have fire uh, smoke detectors, two in the house, same thing. So PSA, you have this. If it is battery operated like mine, be sure and change your batteries uh, and check them. It should have an alarm, but do, I do weekly tests all the time just for this reason. Anyway, see the tar, guys? All denied. <laughs> Lightning didn't hit your house. Okay, if you say so. Same down here. Every side of the foundation leaks. Uh, it's dry now. Same, this is my old furniture from when I moved here. I've even, uh, well, I have a hernia, so I'd pick it up, put wood under, but yeah, with all the water coming by, it's ruined these two pieces of wood. Uh, you call it legs, I guess. Same here, my old armoire is wasted. You can see the mold mildew. I spray Clorox, so on. It's all over my ceiling, as I've showed. Hey, mirrors ruin, guys. Uh, same with my old flag I've shown. It's not disrespectful, but just to say, I bury my American flags. I have it on flagpole next to my uh, one-car garage. My grandfather and I now, he's passed. He's a World War II veteran. Anyway, I bury all my farm animals with the flag. And a time capsule, so that's why this is sitting here. It's not disrespectful not to be morbid, but next big animal, probably one of my donkeys, if I still have them before I move, or decide what I'm going to do if I get someone here to take care of them. But anyway, I put this in a plastic bag with a note, date, time, name of the animal, why I buried it here on the farm. Uh, same, I've shared this with my family, same as I said, got hit by a tornado here, and uh, had 104 trees down then, but yeah, just picked up the whole tree, root and all, and basically I've pre-dug graves for any farm animal, if I can hook a chain and drag them in there, which I've done over the years, but not to be morbid, but that's what I do here, wanted to comment. Yeah, I still have water leak, guys. In the heavy given day, this is all full of water, just literally an inch of water running non-stop into my septic tank here. It's my dehumidifier. During that time, I can empty up to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times in 24 hours. Same here, center of the house, basically. I got a major leak here, so this is all my old paperwork from her old company. Uh, save my old amp from when I was a teenager playing bass. Old surfboard that showed my uncle built when I was uh, born in 64. Never have surfed it. Made him a promise and we'll keep that. 
uh, get back to California as I did for years. I had that hanging in my garage as a piece of history. Oh, another thing, a propane gas line, it ruined that, they denied. Um, I had to pay out of her retirement fund, 40 grand. Um, I've advised her for years what to do, and she can do what she do. This is her property. I love her, support her. I'm trying to make things right. I'm the resident here. She lives 45 minutes away. I'm the manager of this farm, and it's a lost cause now, guys. Anyway, by the way, this will keep playing until you turn it off. So sorry for all the noise there. I'm just sharing my story and sorry they're a little dark or whatever, but this is reality, guys. I wish I was a YouTuber that could be happy making you laugh. I do have a sense of humor, but that's just not the case in this matter. I am mad, angry, torqued off, and this is my way of ending, so... I apologize for that. If you know me, I'm pretty mellow dude. A simple man and love to laugh. Thank God for YouTubers, all of you, uh, that make me laugh. I'd lose my sanity, literally. Or play guitar, or do whatever I do. Hike. Don't get me wrong, I still do stuff on the farm just to get my energy out. Same on my sleeping. Uh, it's been affected. It's affected now, like today I've been sharing. But I went to bed 4.40 a.m. wide awake and madder in hell, man, with all this. Just put that 20-minute video out yesterday. Yeah, and to show you, it is freezing out here. <laughs> Same with the wind, just so you hear it. That's why I showed yesterday, guys, the fire hazard. If we ever had a fire here, let me tell you how it works. That's if someone reports it. First off, the call to 911. It's all over, dude. Same with my hay. I don't know if you ever smelled uh, hay fire, but it is the worst smell ever in the hay bale or your hay. And hay bales burn for days. We actually, uh, well, my best friend for the creative uh, when he told them, but for anyone worldwide, just share. I'm sure it's under a patent now, never look. It's called a bale spike here, how you pick up a hay bale with your tractor or truck. You mill that out, cut down the end with drills, uh, holes, put a male-female connection for your fire hose off a fire truck or even at your farm, whatever. Uh, you turn that on, you stick that in the hay bale, and that's how you basically put out a hay bale or same in a fire. And excuse the house, as you can see, moss is grown through fall, summer. Anyway, if in the house there's a small fire, you could be inside, stick it in the ceiling, or say if this was all wood, you could actually poke it through for minimal water uh, operations to put out a contained fire in one area rather than ruin and everything. But yeah, and hay bales, I wish my partner, he has all kinds of things, run two companies, has a whole bunch of kids, uh, different things going on all the time, but... I wish he would have patented that. Anyway, yeah, the short time I'm out here, guys, freezing. Same thing as I showed. You can now see the damage of lightning strike, and I have left everything as is the day it happened. Not that I'm lazy, but uh, I want them to see all this. Same thing. If it catches on fire, oh well, it's not my problem. Part of nature. Same here. My AC hit every year I have to I gotta go inside I'm freezing now you guys get the idea on the wind and the fire here man it's like 20s out guys so it's 
basically it. I'm not going to do the tour. I know this is getting long as I'm long winded, but that's my story. Same with uh, the NOAA weather radio if you're in USA. Tornado season's coming up. It's not a paid sponsor, but this will save your life. It's battery operated, as well as ACDC plug in. You can take it mobile anywhere. Uh, if you have any weather wherever you're at in USA all seasons, it'll